Hi, welcome to the Google AdSense. I'm Joseph, and today I will be talking about how you can fix ads.txt file issues in order to ensure your ads.txt files can be crawled. If you haven't watched our video on ads.txt and its implementation, we recommend you to watch it first to make sure your ads.txt file is set on your domain. Once an ads.txt file is set on your domain, the Google crawler will attempt to crawl the file and parse the contents of the file to determine seller's ID that are authorized to monetize your inventory. Please be patient after you've made these changes, as it may take a few days for your changes to be reflected in AdSense. Today, I will give you six recommendations to work through your ads.txt file crawling issues. Let's get started. Recommendation one, make sure your ads.txt file is available. If a previously seen ads.txt file is unavailable on a subsequent recrawl, the previously seen entries will be purged if the response is a hard 404 error or retained for up to five days if the response is a soft 404 or a 500 server error. Two, confirm that the file is breachable from the root domain. Redirects from domain.com slash ads.txt to www.domain.com slash ads.txt are fairly common. ads.txt crawling will start at the root domain and the root domain needs to return from or redirect to the ads.txt file. Three, ensure crawling is allowed by robots.txt. The ads.txt file for a domain may be ignored by crawlers if the robots.txt file on a domain disallows one of the following the crawling of the URL path on which an ads.txt file is posted, or the user agent of the crawler. Please check out the links in the description of this video to see examples on the Help Center. Four, make sure the file is returned with the status code HTTP 200 OK. While a request for an ads.txt file may return the contents of the file in the response body, if the status code in the response header indicates the file was not found, the response will be ignored and the file will be considered non-existent. Five, ensure there are no formatting errors or invalid characters in the file. Formatting errors such as invalid white space characters may be difficult to detect, but can make an ads.txt file difficult to parse by a crawler. Because of that, a file might be ignored. Avoid copy and pasting ads.txt entries from a rich text editor. We recommend a plain text editor. You can also check for invalid UTF-8 characters in your ads.txt file using a hex editor. Last but not least, recommendation six, make an ads.txt file reachable via HTTP and HTTPS. The Google crawler attempts to crawl all ads.txt file on both HTTP and HTTPS. However, a 404 response causes previously crawled entries to be purged, even though an ads.txt file is crawled via HTTP. Therefore, if crawling via HTTPS returns a 404, the previously crawled entry will be purged. To summarize, we have six recommendations that are, have an available ads.txt file, make sure the file is reachable from the root domain, allow crawling by robots.txt, have a status that is HTTP 200 OK, make sure your file is free of formatting errors or invalid characters, and finally ensure your ads.txt is reachable via both HTTP and HTTPS. We hope this video helps you ensure your ads.txt file can be crawled. To learn more, you can visit the AdSense Help Center and AdSense website via the link in the description of this video below. Last but not least, make sure to subscribe to the Google AdSense channel for more best practices and tips on how you can grow your site further. Thank you for watching, and let us know in the comment section if you have any suggestions for new videos.